Hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome. I am your host, A Serial Box, and today we have another solo challenge. Today is again on the Hero KU app. I don't know what to tell you, but we're going to play as Ace. We're going to include all of the expansions. I've heard, excitingly, that all of the promo cards from the new Kickstarter have been added in this website, so that's kind of fun. Uh, and again, I'm going to do five starting, cor starting corporations, and any corporations from the corporate era or the base game, we will not actually pick. We'll do a random board, and we got to use promo cards, solar phase. Hello, I do. Again, I've never used it, but that's fine. Oh, color, look at that. Let's go blue and create game. There you go. All right. So you can see here, I said set. I set it to five. Mining Guild, Credit Core, and Eco Line are all not available to me. So it's really going to be Lakefront Resorts or Aphrodite. I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be Lakefront Resort. They have fifty-four dollars. You gain an income whenever an ocean is placed, and you get three dollars for ocean adjacencies. Why do I say we're going to do this? Well, we got Polar Industries and Great Aquifer. That's three oceans turn one, right? Let's, um, I'm pretty sure I can hit a button at the bottom to view board. So if we do it in the center of the board, all three of those oceans can be adjacent to each other. So we'll end up with nine extra dollars, which is pretty, pretty good. So what else do we want? We have $54. We want to come out swinging. I wouldn't mind, um, I would not mind IO Mining Industries, to be honest. It's the only one here that's really coming out to me. Spin-inducing Asteroids good as well. Tectonic Stress Power goes really well if you can get two science, but we have none science. I'd really love to get up to three energy production in particular, because that allows us to travel. But I'm just not seeing it. Well, let's see. We have fifty-four dollars, and IO mining is forty-one. Plus, we're gonna get nine dollars from all those ocean adjacencies. I think I can afford to grab these two other cards. Honestly, part of me should probably grab bribed committee, but I'd rather. I don't know if I'd get it first turn. I think I'd rather get it second turn. It's it's really just two income for ten bucks, right? Which isn't bad. Hmm. Like eccentric sponsor and supplier would have worked in this run because we could have grabbed IO mining with eccentric. Supplier gets us a lot of the energy, gives us some steel. So we get up to the, but like, I, I'm, I'm really happy with what we have looking here. So I'm going to take what we have and then just see if we can make it work. Oh, we should look at this. Lose three ME for each space tag max five. So we're looking at having one and this one's an event, which won't matter. So we can, we can reduce that by influence and lose three ME for each building tag. Oh my God. We can have one, two, we're going to have three on turn one. Well, actually, no, because we aren't going to actually play this. This is fine, but having two super negative events coming out the gate is rough. Unity's coming into power, so IO is going to get us the extra dollar. Whatever, I think at this point we can hit save. And then we have to choose which one to get rid of. I'd rather get rid of the floaters, because I don't have any floaters going on. Uh, prelude to play. We'll start with the Great Aquifer. First Ocean, we'll go for a card as always. We got a bad card with it. Then we'll grab three Heat. Then we go down here and play this. It's because there's another Ocean. And instead of putting it here for a single plant, which is good, 
I'm going to put it down here so that when I go for that steal in the future, it's better. So now we have lots of money. We'll play IO. Um, and then I can't afford any card in hand. I get to send a delegate somewhere. I do... Well, Calvinist is coming in next turn, which isn't bad. I'm going to put a person into Unity, though, and then I'm going to spend $5 to go into Unity again. And effectively, we just spent $5 to take over Unity, and that'll give us an additional... Um, influence and we'll also be chairman next turn for this whole influence thing so we won't have to worry about where we put our delegate in the future turn um, so we have five extra dollars we're not using we have three heat with two heat production we could sell a patent but there's nothing I'm really looking to do and then we have three income yeah, because we started with negative two, and then IO Mining gave us two income, and then the three oceans got us three more. So there we go. Action, world government. So this is the tricky part, where it's like, with the world government, do you put down oceans? And I think the answer is yes, because you get better adjacency than when you build beside oceans, but you know maybe I should put an ocean over here. But you get an income whenever an ocean's placed. So maybe I'll put one here. Or I could put one here, and that'll lead to two in, like two big ones in the future. For now, I'm gonna focus over here with the ocean. Scientists got a delegate. Increase ME production one step for each colony. Gain a titanium per influence. That one's okay. I'm really, I only have two building tags, so it's not that big a deal. Mars first is going to get an additional person next round. Maybe I should go into Mars first then. Anyways, our event is Dirigibles Greenhouse Power Grid. Really bad cards, honestly, but I'll take Dirigibles and start building up some floaters and some stuff. Our titanium is worth extra this round, so we'll try and do spin-inducing asteroid, because it's the only thing we can use it on. Yeah. So... So that's eight bucks to do Venus. Bump, bump. And then dirigibles for eleven. And then Dirigibles is going to add a floater to itself. And then we will put a delegate into Mars first. Because that way, next turn, when this slides over, someone will go into Mars first, but we'll be in the lead as long as nothing pops up in Mars first as well. Um, and then we're going to pass because we don't have much money, we don't have enough heat. All of our actions will have been taken. We have decent income, we just don't have much in the way of getting stuff done. Uh, and we'll do one more ocean over here for future adjacency stuff. There's also a two titanium location, but it's hard to go for two titanium when you get three dollars per adjacency and there's so much adjacency. So there's four oceans left to be placed, like one, two, three, meh. So we're doing all right. So this is when building tags are bad. Increase ME production's good. Earth counts. So earth earth tags are bad. If lose two TR if the sum is four or more. Earth tags and influence. So we have no earth tags. We probably don't want to get earth tags. Um we want deuterium exports, I think. And imported advanced GHGs. Part of me wants Noctis farming, but 
So it's pretty far out. These work really well for us. The reason we want to buy these cards is because we have dirigibles, which can put something on another card. So we could put a floater on this card and then use it every turn for energy. And that'll allow us to one day fly, which would be nice. Uh, birds as points and Noctis farming is too far away. So then when we play Deuterium Export, play Project Card, Deuterium Export, we use a floater for it. Oh, and we can use our Titanium on it, which is nice. Then we use Dirigibles on it, and then we use it to make a energy production. Then we do Advanced GHGs, very likely. I can't think of anything else to do. Mars First is coming in. Unity is almost certainly coming in next turn with the fact that a delegate's going to slide over. I don't really know how to preempt that. Because I do like Unity coming in, because I have two Titanium production and three Unity tags. But maybe I should push for Calvinists. Because I'll have these. And then Calvinists. So next turn, Unity will have two, but I'll have two in Calvinist, and I'll be able to put another one in Calvinist. And we just want to keep making sure we're getting the free TR for coming into power. We have ten bucks left. We could buy two cards for nine dollars, but it doesn't seem like a good trade. So I'm going to pass. Passing with ten bucks sounds bad, but we really haven't been getting great cards. Um, I'm going to do a Venus bump. And that should be good. So, let's look. So now the next Venus bump gives us a card. We need to get our heat and oxygen started, but the oceans are a lot of the way through. We didn't lose any money for our building tags. We had enough TR or uh, influence. Um, who's coming in here? Increase. Okay, so colonies are good, but what generation is this? Four? So getting a full income wouldn't be too bad. Cars to take, though. I think we want to do aerial lenses for two heat production for really cheap. Solar reflectors, event analysts, peroxide power even. Like, they're all good. They're all really good. I don't know how much of them we can play, but how many of them, rather. We'll do a heat bump. We'll put a floater on the deuterium export and we'll use it to get an energy production. If I send a delegate into Calvinus, as discussed previously, we are now in the lead of the party. And since we have two people in the party, we can play aerial lenses. Solar reflectors for 17. That means we don't have enough for our peroxide power, which is really too bad. Had I not taken Event Analyst, I could have, but I really like Event Analyst. In retrospect, I probably shouldn't have. But that's fine. That's fine. And I could always go to series one of these days. Like $9 to get 8 steel, which is what the trade would be next turn, is pretty freaking good. So let's hit pass. And if I increase the temperature, then we'll get a heat increase as well. But I think I still want, I want to do oxygen. Oxygen is where we are terrified. So we made a bunch of extra money because we got Calvinist in power, which meant that we got a dollar for all of our heat income, which was 11, which is pretty good. And this is the round where as long as we have less than four combined influence and earth tags, which we have one influence, no earth tags, 
we're good. So we won't lose TR from this event. Oh my god, every friggin' event other than like the one we just had has been so negative. Lose three ME for each blue card. Okay. And then Mars first is getting more people. I think what we want to do is pump up scientists. I don't know, I could get two people in Mars first and take it over this round. And then, um, and that would be cool. But I don't think it's actually what we want. Because I think I want to be in scientist so I can play my scientist card. Ugh. Anyways, interplanetary colony ship is good. Air scraping is good. I mean, I don't even mind directed impactors for once. Add an asteroid resource to any card. Oh, to any card. Wow, that's kind of cool. And if you add it here, you can raise the temperature one step. So it's generation five, which means we could trigger this on generation six, eight, ten, and twelve. So this is four heat bumps. I'll do it. And not to mention if we get something that synergizes with it a little bit more. Okay, so we do have things that cost... Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure where to start with this one. Play an action card. I think I want to do dirigibles and play dirigibles to put on to dirigibles so that when I play air scraping expedition it can be three dollars cheaper and I'll put those three on deuterium and then I'll use the three on deuterium to get an energy production so now we're at the correct amount of energy we got an industrial center It's not, it's okay. Hmm. I really want to get the directed impactors downrange. Isn't my titanium worth an extra one? Oh no, Unity's in power next turn. That kind of sucks. Perform an action. Play a project card. I mean, I still want that interplanetary colony ship. And then I could fly. You know what? I think I'll do that. I just, I thought I was going to do it for cards, but it looks like I'm going to do it on series. I don't have that much steel to get, but trade to the colony. It's just so much value. I got 10 steel now, and I'll overspend to get peroxide power. Overpaying by 3. Okay, overpaying by 1. There we go. Yeah. I mean, I could have played the this card here, which I might do in the future just to get the adjacency. It was $3 per ocean, but... For now, send a delegate, and I think I talked about doing science. Well, I'm not sure. We'll have to spend $5 to take it over next round, but I think it's good. And then pass. We have $0, 6 steel, and our heat is slowly building up. We're going to put up the oxygen again. Because we have no real oxygens happening right now. It's pretty bad. Um, as much as I like physics complex, I don't really see the value in it. Generation 6, so Radsuits almost pays for itself, but 
It's really just points. Hmm. I think I'm just going to end up playing both my science tags and tectonic stress power is what I'm going to really be trying to do. Well, scientist has three things in it. Okay, I'm definitely not taking over. Oh, well. Yeah, it sucks. Each blue card, though. Oh, no. Because I have... Well, I only have three. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I don't like these cards. I mean, Ammonia Baked Asteroid is the only one that stands out as, like, viable. So I'm going to do none of them. And before playing anything, I'm going to trade with a colony using three energy, which finally we have. And it's going to be Pluto, which gives us four cards. That's worth talking about. Kelp farming, geez, one more ocean, which we could do. Uh, but first, let's heat the planet with eight heat, heat the planet with eight heat, and then perform an action with directed impactors to increase the heat again. So that got us all the way up to minus 20. We will do dirigibles to add to dirigibles because this one already has one on it. And I think asteroid mining makes the most sense. It's going to produce how many times? Six times. Six times six is 36. This is actually technically profitable. Oh, but what I really wanted to do was the science. So put a delegate to scientists. Then I can play event analyst, which is a blue card, but it uh, cancels itself out because it's an influence. So then if I play molecular printing, I'm going to get three bucks back, so it's eight bucks. And then I can play tectonic stress power. And then I can play a nuke zone, which is pretty good, honestly. I'm not sure where to put it, because I get six bucks for putting it beside an ocean, but I could also get cards. Oh, I could have got an ocean down here. <clears throat> you lose six bucks and get to place an ocean if you play in the very center down here. I'm going to do that with my nuke zone next turn. Because <coughs> that will enable kelp farming. Not only that, but listen to this. It also is nuking the poles, which is where you would actually want to nuke Mars if you did nuke Mars. I remember hearing that you want to do it at the poles. So the real question is, do I want to spend $10 to take charge of cal or scientists? <clears throat> it would give me, for $10, another influence, okay? Another influence is worth $3, because it would prevent one of the blue cards, and then it would give me an influence next round, which is worth um, $2 because it would be a future influence. So I think I'm going to do it. It's a point for $5 after you get all those rebates. I think that is worth it if I'm not doing anything else. So scientist for $5. And then send a delegate to scientist for $5. There you go. Pass. Uh, I think the oxygen is still where we're so lacking. I mean, also everywhere else, but <laughs> don't worry about it. Mangroves, Arctic algae is way too bad, but Earth Catapult's good. You know I love me some Earth Catapult. Can't even play it, but we'll heat the planet twice. We'll perform an action of a played card with scientists in power. Oh, wrong, wrong button. We will do an energy gain. Perform an action of a played card. We'll make our Venus cards cheaper. What do, what do we have down here for colonies? We're going to spend, we could get a bunch of steel. But that doesn't seem to make sense. 
You know what? I'm going to give up on Earth Catapult this round. Play a project card. It's going to be the nuclear zone. And I'm going to place it here, which is going to lose me six more dollars, which then lets me put an ocean here. So we got lots of money for that. We still don't have enough for kelp farming, but if I play a card, play a project card, industrial center for two steel, I can put it here, which is adjacent two oceans. That's six more dollars. Then we play a project card and we can get kelp farming. Then we can play this card and for two titanium, we can get an asteroid on it. And there you go. Like that, that worked a lot. Look, we're already at minus 12. We've got six oceans. It's pretty good. Um, we've played four events, so we're going to be getting a lot of money next round. I'm not sure if I want greens or scientists. Neither of them really help. I think I should try and get uh, Calvinist back in. Yeah, so Calvinist, because I have 13 tags, right? So it's $13. And then, oh yeah, I want to pay three energy to trade with a colony. And I'm going to go to Callisto to get all the way up to, it was net 10 energy. I got 13 for three. So then pass. What are we going to do on behalf of the Earth government? Probably keep doing the oxygen, like Venus is going to be an issue, but... The oxygen is definitely an issue. Solar wind and a corporate stronghold. We can get the corporate stronghold somewhere so that actually allows us to place our greeneries usefully. Special design I don't think is particularly important for us. Market manipulation isn't too bad. But I don't want it. So, we have so much heat. We have 35 heat. Oh my god. I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to click the button a bunch of times. Heat the planet. Heat the planet. Heat the planet. Heat the planet. Wow. And then, if I do this action, this heats the planet. I don't think I need more energy production, but... I'm not playing anything that is from Venus, so I guess I'll get my energy production higher. Play a project card. What do we got? Um, Earth Catapult seems like a really good idea. It's only Generation 8, so we have four more generations. I don't think it's too late. Solar Wind Power Corporate Stronghold. Let's do the Corporate Stronghold. I only have one Titanium, or sorry, Steel. I'm going to trade with the colony for three energy, and I'm going to go to series, and now we have nine steel. Play a project card. I would like to play a corporate stronghold. There's nowhere else to get three plants from placing the corporate stronghold. Oh, I screwed up in my... I'm going to put the corporate stronghold here so that I can build onto the future oceans. I guess I could put it up here, but I really want to get adjacencies, right? Well, I guess I could go here. Uh, it's kind of not as good as I thought it would be. Where am I going to put it? I think two points here deals with the fact that it's negative two points and gets us to a better side of the board. Or up here in the plants. No, I want to give it as much opportunity for points. Solar wind power. I like it. It cost me three titanium. I get two titanium back. And then I guess I'll do asteroid mining because I can. It's not like, there's not much value in it because it's only going to produce four times. You know, four times six is twenty-four dollars. I spent thirty on it. Well, twenty-eight on it. So I lost four dollars. But titanium can be worth more if we get something like unity into power. 
We have enough money to say no to Mars first. But I don't think we have to. Like if I put or what's this event? Gain one steel production for each gain a steel for each steel production plus influence. I don't think I need much more steel. So I'm just gonna put my guy into Calvinist. And then next round, Calvinist will be winning for free. Okay. I don't want to buy a delegate. I don't want to sell any patents. I think we're going to pass. We're so close to though. Zero for the ocean. A little bit of oxygen. A little bit of this. We're still going to put up oxygen though. Because that's the one that I think needs it the most. We still haven't gotten a freaking... Oh my god. So this is awesome. This is freaking awesome. Field Cap City. This is a new car, isn't it? It gives you energy and money production. It's expensive. But it gives you plants, too. Why not? So this card here, it allows us to do Venus Bumps. And our other card that we already built down here, called Directed Impacts, says add a, micro, or add a thing to any card. So we can add asteroids to this card and use it once per turn uh, three times. So three Venus impacts. Yo. Don't mind if I do. So let's do a heat, which gives us the ocean. We can do three heat and do another temperature, which is fine. Uh, maybe I should have done something different there, actually. Yeah, I should have. I should have played a caretaker contract and started doing bumps on that. Well, I don't know. Mangrove is one away. Perform an action of a played card. No. Play a project card. Rotator impacts. One titanium. Perform the action of a played card. Directed impactors. Two titanium. onto rotator impacts. Perform an action, rotator impacts, raise Venus one step. Perform an action, we're gonna keep putting our energy up because that's just fine. I don't think it actually helps us, but I'm having fun with it. We could fly to Pluto, but I think I'm gonna wait till next turn to fly to Pluto. So let's trade with the colony for three energy. We will go to series and get five more steel. Play a project card. Field city. I don't know, maybe up here. For two more plants. So this, play a project card. We have 15 steel. We only need to use 13 of it. And it gets a point if we put it beside this stuff. Oh, every time we place something on the board, we get a steal back as well. Hmm. So we have 15 plants. So if we go here for one plant, we can go here for another plant and a card. Corroder suits. A Venus resource. I don't think I have a Venus resource. Oh, I guess I have dirigibles. So I guess we'll play it then, because play project card, corroder suits, cost us two floaters, then we put a floater on dirigibles. So it costs us one floater to play it, because we have Earth Catapult that minus it by one. Um, large convoy we could do next turn, and we could place it here, get a bunch of plants. Calvinists are coming in, and then greens are almost certainly coming in. I don't know, what do I, I have $55 left? Oh god, I need to keep doing things. Uh, standard project time, I guess. I would like to buy an aquifer. I'm going to put it here. And then if I do an oxygen bump, it does a heat bump. So, play a project card. Sorry, play a standard project. Let's get a city.
A city? No, I went to greenery. Ah, rats. Well, I guess I'm going to put it here. Because that gives us a bunch of money back. Play a standard project. Greenery. And here's a really good spot. Okay. And then we're going to end up with a city here in the future, I think. But, you know, it's neither here nor there. We get a steel income, but we obviously don't need steel income because we have nine steel that we're not using. We have ten income. Delegate from lobby. We'll put one into Unity just for funsies. And then we'll pass. We have three more generations to get this stuff done. I think this is a really good opportunity to do a Venus bump. AI Central. It's pretty late, but we have lots of titanium, so why not? Uh, and then we can copy a production of a building. Tectonic stress, power, polar industries. Don't really have anything to copy. Uh, we can't play this, but we could play Asteroid Mining Consortium, but we don't have points per Jovians. Or we do have a points per Jovian. We have Io. I mean, this is just a points card, but like... It's maybe okay. So if I'm going to do heat bump, heat bump, and then I'm going to play a card, it's going to be caretaker project. So I can perform the caretaker project for eight heat, which gives us a TR, which is nice. Um, I have eight plants. I mean, I'd like to save until next generation, because then I get way more money back. Play a project card. Greeneries are going to give us $4 back once the uh, greens are in power. So for now, let's build AI Central. And activate it. We ended up with Spinoff Department and Minority Refuge. Let's play spin-off department. And then let's play minority refuge. And we're gonna put that on Pluto. So that when we fly to Pluto right now for three energy, we're actually gonna get three cards plus a fourth card, and then we have to throw out something. So three energy. Pluto. Um, hmm. Requires that you are the chairman. Am I the chairman? Yes. I could ban a Greens delegate. All these friggin' Earth cards that are now doing nothing for me. Toll Station does absolutely nothing, though. Um... An acquired company, like what am I going to do with that? It's three income twice, right? Space hotels is some income a couple times. So let's perform an action of a played card. I do want to play extractor balloons. I think. Because it's going to be a bump almost every round. Let's play it. If we play it, we also get a card. So we can use the floaters we have. Boom, we've played it. Then perform an action. We will do a Venus bump. Puts it here. Then we can get another Venus bump by doing the asteroid to asteroid pairing. Play. That's fun. That that asteroid that puts asteroids on other cards is actually from the thing, and so I'm actually getting a value out of it right now. Okay, what do we have? We have so much oxygen to go, but greens are coming in. We get a free ocean from this event. Let's put our delegate into unity again. So we just have a lot of Venus bumps to do. And we have 
two more generations to do it, and we have the oxygen as well. Play a project card. Well, this gives us an ocean, though. I guess we should do it now. This gives us an extra TR if we do it instead of them, and I want to do it because it's worth two points and a greenery, basically. It's not a great use of our cash, but... Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. So now we have lots of plants. I mean, if I can play Eos Chasm, I should wait till next turn, though, because next turn I can go to series and have a bunch of steel. We have Open City now, because we got a bunch of cards from that. Media Archives isn't too bad. Sorry, play perform an action with a played card. I would like to add a, my, or a floater to Extractor Balloons. Perform an action with a played card. You may as well add to yourself. Perform an action with a played card. I don't want to buy that. I don't want to do that. Viral Enhancers is good. We get farming though, right? Yeah, so Viral Enhancers. And then play a project card, farming. Oh, play a project card. Media Archives is not good, but that's fine. Is there any other cards in hand that we're close to being able to play? That's a plant tag. Eos is just a little bit too far. But I could sell, 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 sell. That's four more dollars. That gets me up to 11. At least I could play cloud seeding, which would be six plants, including the... You know what? Let's sell patents. We're going to sell patents, and I'm going to sell the income... Chairman, I'm not decided on a couple of these because I like using our steel. How much money does this give us? We're up to 12. So if I sold two more things, I could get Eos Chasma this turn, which would end up netting us some more stuff. It's only another dollar, though. So I think it's, it's fine to just pass with 12 bucks and a whole bunch of plants. Pass. We are going to increase the Venus scale. Yep. Uh, quantum. Do we have any space tags left? No, we don't. Mining expedition. Magnetic shield. Wow. Two two power tags to get four TR for twenty six bucks. I'll do that. Because we definitely have we have five power tags. Mining expedition. Hmm. It's an oxygen. But we already have one, two, three bumps. Plus another production, plus all the scoops. It might be good. So plants into greeneries. We want to go here. We want to go here. And then I want to build a city in that spot. So play a card. Actually, first I want to trade with a colony. Because I think I can fly to series. Play three energy. Series. Play a project card. Oh, I still can't play open city. Maybe if I play this, I can. Eleven, right? Okay, play a project card. I still can't? I guess mangroves is going to have to go down. Where do we want to put mangroves, though? For two plants, probably? Because it has adjacency. Play a project card. Open city. Finally, it was 12, not 11, as expected which I want to put here, 
because then I can put a greenery in this spot for a bunch of money back. Then we still have enough for another greenery. Oh my god. So there's the <laughs> there's the greens all sorted out. My god. And we have $90. We would like to put something on extractor balloons. I should have always drawn two cards because we have AI Central, but I didn't. We're going to do a Venus bump here before I even look at the two cards. Let's look. Riggle Theaters, Titan Air Scraping, whatever. Uh, we want to do Directed Impactors for two Titanium. Put it on the Venus card. Use the Venus card. Get another Venus step. So we're getting two per turn. You may as well remove a floater for an energy production, caretaker project for a TR. Okie dokie. I mean, magnetic field shield thing seems good. It's a lot of points. So is Eos Cosma. Because we did terraform this generation. It's generation 11 of 12, and we have... $60 worth of standard projects to get Venus the rest of the way, and we have $90. So it really is just a points game. Play a project card. Magnetic shield. Play a project card. Aerial mappers. Yo, that's pretty cool. Play a project card. Oh, I should have kept my freaking stuff. Titan Air Scrapers is still worth lots of points. Play a project card. Asteroid Mining Consortium. Play a project card. Can't play Cupola or Extreme Cold Fungus, so let's go ahead and sell those cards. Sell patents. These ones. If ever I'm going to buy a greenery for extra points, I should do it in this generation because greens are in power, so I get four bucks back. So, pay for standard project, standard project, greenery, and I'm just going to put it here beside my city, so in the future there's a double greenery spot available if I get so lucky. I will add a floater to itself. No, itself. So next turn we get to draw a card. Play a project card. We could play this this turn, but I think we just pass. Oh, send a delegate from lobby. It's the last one, whatever, we'll triple down on Mars Unity. Okay. Take a breath. We're going into the last one. How high can we score, baby? Right now we have 99 points. That's what this is at the start. So Venus scale goes up. Add three floater resources. Oh, because anything that had resources got resources. Can I put them in different spots? I don't know. I think Dirigible should get them, though. Because they're all going to one. Cutting edge technology. When you play a card with a requirement, it costs two less. That's kind of cool, but it's also worth a point. Venus Magnetizer. I think that's worth it. It's cheaper than buying a standard project. So, perform an action. There's so many things here, oh my god. You to draw two cards. Perform an action, you to draw a card. So let's look at our cards. We've got oh, this these ones. We've got potatoes. That's fun. Galilean way stations, okay, whatever. So perform an action. We definitely want this for a titanium. 
and two bucks to put onto that. And then perform an action. This does a Venus bump for that asteroid we just made. And then perform an action on the played card. This does a Venus one step. So now we have one more step to do. Uh, let's play our project card. Cutting edge. Play our project card. Venus way station. Play a project card. Venus Magnetizer. Oh wow, it's actually like free. Because it's $2 cheaper for Cutting Edge, $2 cheaper for Earth Catapult, and $2 cheaper because it's a Venus tag. Wow. We're overspending by $2 here. So then Venus Magnetizer, we will use it. So now we have completely terraformed the planet. From action of a played card. So if I use dirigibles, I can put on Titan Air Scraping and then perform an action of a played card, Titan Air Scraping, to get a TR. Convert eight plants into a greenery. Trade with a colony. Yeah, I haven't traded with a colony yet. And I could go to Pluto for three cards, trade one away. So three energy, I should have done this at the start had I realized. Trade envoys is useless to us now, because there's no more trading to be done. Only a couple of these things are actually have points on them. So, you know, there's that. Uh, heat into a greenery. It sounds like I'm going to need to build another city. So I will. Standard project, city, right here. And then a greenery beside it. I mean, I could go up here for a plant. And then that gives us a plant in the bonus phase, which is nice. So standard project, greenery again. It's two points for 20 bucks, right? Just that one gave us money back because it was adjacent. And then I think I standard project greenery again, and then I can use all my metals on the way stations. It's kind of a lame last turn of just standard projecting, but standard project greenery. And then I didn't do this yet. Caretaker project, delegate, oh, sorry, play a card, you only cost steel, and play a project card, Galilean way stations. I don't think $15 matters, but... Yeah, none of this does anything. I don't see a way for us to squeeze another point out. So that'll be uh, that'll be done. I hope you enjoyed. I sure did. Let's uh, 116. Not bad. Pass. Like, here's the thing about. Whatever, we'll put it beside this city. Here is the thing. We got 119 in the end. Awesome. Just awesome. Okay? But the big thing is that this game is so much harder with all of the expansions, hands down, because there's so much crap and things in the deck that are non-synergistic. But the opportunity for high, high-scoring games is there. So we just... We almost caught that lift. Like we weren't in the 150s or anything, because in the expansion you can get there. But like, oh my god, 119? Compared to base game, like this was a huge run. 
And I really hope you enjoyed it, because I, I really had a fun time with Lakefront there. Uh, anyways, I'll see you next time. Cheers.